SOS. Two astronauts are stuck on the International Space Station and they've been stranded there for over a whole month. Boeing Starliner had its inaugural crewed launch in June 2024, but due to an unexpected problem with the mission carrying NASA astronauts Barry Butch Wilmore and Sunita Sunny Williams to the International Space Station, the ISS, they're now stranded. But how did this ever happen? And what does this mean for the astronauts? Hey Space Cats, I'm Dr. Maggie Lou. Let's talk about the stranded astronauts. Boeing Starliner is part of NASA's commercial crew program. It's a spacecraft designed for the transportation of astronauts and cargo to the International Space Station, the ISS. And more importantly, it was developed and operated by the private sector rather than NASA itself. It's only partially reusable, which means that it can be reused up to 10 missions. Now, in 2014, NASA chose Boeing and SpaceX as the two companies to be funded to develop the ISS transport system. They gave Boeing a $4.2 billion contract to complete and certify the Starliner by 2017, while SpaceX got just $2.6 billion to complete and certify their crewed spacecraft Dragon. But 2017 came and went, and by 2021, there was still no Starliner in sight. It was met with massive delays and more than $1.5 billion in overrun budgets. On the other hand, SpaceX has been ferrying astronauts on Dragon 2 since 2020. Now, you may be thinking, why do we need another spacecraft when we already have SpaceX's Dragon 2, and it's provided countless successes already? Well, the idea is that having a second option is really important to provide redundancy for human access to space, reducing the reliance on a single provider and ensuring the continuity of essential missions to the ISS and beyond. Now, Starliner successfully launched on the 5th of June this year, 2024, four years after their competitors. But even up to the very last minute, it was met with massive delays. The 7th of May launch, 2024, was scrubbed just two hours before takeoff because of an oxygen valve problem on their launch vehicle, ULA's Atlas V. Then the launch was met with even more delays due to a leak of helium, which is used to pressurize the reaction control system thrusters in the Starliner service module. The second launch attempt was on the 1st of June, and that was aborted three minutes before liftoff due to a faulty power supply. But the third attempt, four days later, seemed to be successful. During the flight of the seemingly successful launch, more helium leaks were discovered. And as Starliner approached the ISS, five out of the 28 thrusters in total failed. Efforts to reset and fire the thrusters managed to restore four out of the five, and Starliner managed to dock with the ISS after a short delay. While the precise cause of helium leaks remains unknown, it's believed to be caused by defective seals. But the problems with the propulsion system is also a mystery. Originally, the astronauts were only supposed to be up there for an eight-day mission, and it's been over a month, and it's still unclear when they'll come back. Now, this is a serious issue, because being in space is physically and mentally challenging. Astronauts in space are exposed to microgravity conditions, which can cause a number of health problems, including bone loss, muscle atrophy, and vision problems. They're also exposed to high levels of radiation, which increases their risk of cancer and other health problems. The astronauts will also have to deal with isolation of being in space, away from their family and friends. Now, originally Boeing said to their astronauts that they could remain there up to 45 days due to limitations in the capsule's battery power, but it's been 51 days already now. NASA keeps saying that the astronauts are not stranded, that the Starliner could probably be safe coming back to Earth, and they would do so if it was an emergency. 
But if that's really the case, then why don't they just do that? In fact, they did face a near emergency on the 26th of June when a Russian satellite broke up into more than 100 pieces near the ISS. The astronauts had to rush into the Starliner for shelter and prepare for an emergency evacuation. Thankfully, the junk flew right past the station without causing any problems. Now, probably the real reason for delays in bringing the astronauts back home is that the faulty parts are all segments that are discarded before landing. So if they were to return on the Starliner, there would be nothing to study for future flights to figure out what's causing all of these problems. The team planned to test fire the capsule's thrusters this weekend whilst it's docked to the space station to gather more data. So hopefully by then we'll have a better idea on when these astronauts can actually come home. Worst comes to worst, I'm sure SpaceX's Dragon capsule could come to the rescue. All in all, it's been a lot of bad press for Boeing, especially with all the problems they've been having with planes as well. Anyway, that's all from me this week. Thank you to my YouTube Perks members for supporting this video. As usual, if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave me a like, share and subscribe.